I'll be honest, for years, my compost pile was painfully slow. I did everything right, or so I thought. I added greens and browns in the right ratios, turned it weekly, and kept it just moist enough. But still, weeks would go by with barely any real decomposition. Then one day while baking bread I had a moment of curiosity that completely changed how I compost. I saw the yeast bubbling in my dough working fast full of life, and I wondered what if I poured that microbial magic into my compost pile? Just a mix of yeast, sugar, and warm water? I tried it, thinking it might give the microbes a tiny boost, but I wasn't ready for what came next. Have you ever used yeast in your compost? Did it make a difference? Let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious to hear your experience because after this experiment mine will never be the same. Let's dive into what actually happened and why this simple kitchen trick turned my slow, crusty compost into a steaming, black, earthy treasure. I made a quick compost accelerator using one packet of baker's yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, and four cups of warm water. I let it sit on the counter until it started to foam, just like prepping dough. Then I poured the mixture evenly over my lukewarm compost pile which was mostly made of kitchen scraps, shredded leaves, and some cardboard. At that point the pile was sitting around 80 degrees Fahrenheit internally, not hot enough to really cook down. I wasn't expecting anything dramatic, maybe a little more microbial life, a bit of a faster breakdown. But by day three I knew something big was happening. Within 48 hours of applying the yeast mixture, I noticed the pile had warmed up significantly. I stuck a compost thermometer in and it had jumped to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That may not sound extraordinary to hardcore composters, but for this particular pile, which had been sitting nearly dormant for over a month, it was a huge leap. By day five I could feel the heat coming off it with my bare hand. The texture was changing too. What had looked like intact vegetable scraps just days earlier had become soft and mushy, and the smell shifted from mild rot to that earthy fermented richness that tells you microbes are throwing a party underground. And the worms? They came flooding in. The edges of the pile were writhing with red wigglers. I hadn't added any new compost worms which meant they were naturally drawn in by the sudden microbial buffet. So why did it work? Yeast is a single-celled fungus, and fungi are nature's decomposers. While we often think of bacteria as the engine behind composting, fungi play a crucial role in breaking down tougher organic compounds, especially the cellulose and lignin found in plant material. When you feed yeast with sugar and warm water you're jump-starting that fungal activity. You're creating a microbial slurry that can populate a compost pile within hours. These microbes start breaking down material immediately, creating heat and releasing enzymes that speed up the overall decay process. More importantly, this fungal activity makes it easier for other microbes, especially aerobic bacteria, to move in and join the process. It's like creating a starter culture for your compost, the same way you do for sourdough bread or fermented foods. To track the changes, I took temperature readings, tested moisture content, and observed the breakdown of different components like fruit peels, stems, and paper. I also compared a second pile, untreated, to see how much of a difference the yeast mixture actually made. The results after 10 days were unmistakable. The yeast-treated pile was nearly 60% broken down. Banana peels were gone. Paper had almost fully disintegrated. Meanwhile, the untreated pile was still stuck in neutral, with intact scraps and a lower temperature of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The structure of the compost also improved. It became fluffier, richer in color and retained moisture more evenly. And the smell? It was forest floor perfection. If you're planning to try this yourself, timing is key. Make sure your compost pile is active, not frozen, waterlogged, or bone dry. A good time to apply a yeast accelerator is when your pile is lukewarm or starting to stall. I found the best mixture ratio to be one packet of yeast per four cups of warm water with about two tablespoons of sugar. Let it bubble for 10 to 15 minutes, then pour evenly over the pile. Follow it up with a quick turning of the pile to aerate everything and incorporate the mixture. You can reapply every two weeks during the active decomposition phase, especially if your pile is large or if you've recently added a lot of browns like dry leaves or cardboard. After using this technique on three different piles over a season, I can confidently say yeast as a compost accelerator isn't a gimmick, it works. It supercharges microbial activity, jumpstarts the heat cycle, and brings in the kind of fungal and worm life that turns raw waste into rich, usable compost faster than most commercial products I've tried. It's also ridiculously cheap. 
A packet of yeast costs less than a dollar. Sugar and water? You already have them. For the cost of a cup of coffee, you can transform a lagging compost pile into something truly alive and productive. If your compost pile has ever felt like it's stuck, try this. Pour in that yeast mixture and give it a stir. Then come back here and let me know what happened. Did it steam? Did the worms come running? I want to hear your results. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Hydro Haven, share this video with your fellow gardeners, and rewatch anytime you need a compost reset. We're here to take the mystery out of soil building, one experiment at a time.